Hi everyone, it's Chris here again with another Mac Mall Tech Talk, giving you the latest news and info on everything Mac. I don't know if you noticed or not, but Apple pulled a really sneaky move September 9th while announcing their new slew of gadgets. They retired the iPod Classic from their Apple site. That's right, you can no longer buy the click wheel equipped 40,000 song holding device that initiated Apple's success. Uh, this has a lot of people in smart home automation looking, even scrambling, for the last remaining units because a huge amount of music systems for the home and even the car use the classic 30 pin Apple dock connector. Oh well, can't stop progress. <laughs> now everyone has security top of mind these days and technology is making it easier than ever to keep us secure. So let's say you're going out of town for a few days or you need to keep an eye on your dog while you're at work. A company named Periscope Pro is now allowing you to keep surveillance on your house by using your Mac's built-in webcam. You can control what motions trigger the recording and you can view the recordings on the Periscope Pro app and it's saved on your computer's hard drive. Now this is great for iMac users, laptop users need to remember to keep the lid open before they leave, and Mac Pro users need to buy a webcam or a monitor that already has a built-in webcam like the Apple Thunderbolt display. On the topic of security, do you know how to keep your iCloud safe from hackers? There's actually a new two-step verification process that can keep your private photos from being leaked to the public. This is how you do it. You first, log on to your account on myappleid.com. Look for the two-step verification section of the page where it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions for setting it up. And do be mindful that Apple does take three days to activate this option. If you're a Mac user that uses Gmail like I am, fear not, Google has a similar process. Many of us work on sensitive data that we don't want leaked. If you are fearful of pry prying eyes while working on your Mac, there's three things that you can do to protect yourself. Number one, use a privacy filter. As seen in this picture, <laughs> privacy filters use polarizing filters to prevent your screen from being seen unless you're directly in front of it. Number two, set up spaces. If you hear someone walking by, you can switch to a different desktop view that is filled with completely different windows. And number three, Set up hot corners in Screensaver under System Preferences. Set a corner to Desktop so that when you shoot your pointer to that corner, you will empty your screen within a quarter second. Better yet, use all three. Better safe than sorry is what I always say. Well, that's all I have for you. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get more tech news and reviews, be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments about today's topics or anything tech related, please let us know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.